All right, guys, we are here with Tonya. What do we got going here, Tonya? Dwellers, this is Wayne, and this is who did our 2024 Camaro. Um, Wayne, um, So about the company? Okay, my company is Airland Sea Ceramics. So I do everything, all kinds of, le all levels of details, from basic interior, exterior details, but I specialize in ceramic coating whether it's two year, five year, nine year. Um, so a lot of people stay away from here because they think I'm only high end stuff and just do ceramic coating. So you can bring anything in here. We'll detail anything. I don't care whether it's a dump truck um, or if it's a motorcycle or if it's a bicycle, I care less, bring it in. We can make anything look awesome. We can ceramic coat anything too. Okay, so our dwellers <laughs> are from all over the United States and, and Canada and some Puerto Rico and some other places. Where are you located? Uh, we're located in Neckong, New Jersey. And then where, don't you have another location? In uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, that's six ceramic coatings. Wow. Yes. So, okay. So, got both sides of the country covered, guys. Just get your car to one of the two. And he's going to walk the car and tell you kind of what he did. Yes. Um, you guys have seen before us of it. We'll show you some of the damage that we saw when we first picked it up in some pictures. And then he'll show you the yeah. yeah, so I guess we could basically go over quickly when the car showed up and going over just the imperfections. So you generally get a ton of imperfections with American cars. Um, Chevy, out of Chevy, Ford, and Dodge, Chevy's usually the best. So they're usually not as bad as this one was, which shocks me because it's such a cool damn car with awesome paint. But it looked like there were claw marks all over the hood. and. Uh, you know, it would drive you nuts, but I knew I could get him out. I can't even say I got him out. My employee Howard got him out. I would have got him out if I did it, but he did it. So. Right here. And the biggest one over here. It's like a cat. Yeah, it looked like cat. It looked like claw marks. Wow. Right here, and guys, it is not there. It's like glass. There were also a lot of um, there were also a lot of smudges in the in the uh, clear coat too, like blotches. Um, they were here. They were on the nose. A lot on the spoiler and on the deck lid, but we just buffed them down and we got the stuff out and made it look the way it should look. So the idea of the ceramic coating is not just to wash and then ceramic coat a vehicle, which if you take it to a lot of dealerships, that's what you're getting. You're not getting paint correction from most of the dealerships. Because I have people that work for dealerships to send their cars in there because they know I do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to get the paint to look as beautiful as it should, then it gets alcohol prepped and then you the, uh, the uh, ceramic coating is applied by hand a little applicator a little bottle liquids and uh hardens like little yeah little squares at a time yeah a little bit lift so like on this we just i basically do a section at a time so this area here this is in two sections that area alone fender i'll split into two pieces but yeah you want to do little bits because once you do it the more area that you cover with ceramic coating when you're taking it off you're just pushing the ceramic to another area and it makes it a nightmare so it just makes the job harder and then you have the chance of getting high spots when the job is done and you can no matter what the lighting is like in your shop i don't care when you take it outside in the natural lighting where you need shade and sunlight and that's the beauty of having a car here for a while you want to be out to able to see it in the sunlight and in the shade because you might, the sunlight may look awesome, you don't see anything. And then all of a sudden you see a shaded area and you see a different, you see a high spot in the high shade. Spot, yeah. So, and they will, you'll find them. Um, we didn't find a single high spot, so we really went nuts with this one, so. But it, it was also really beautiful paint to work with, so it made the job easier too. Ceramic coating this was not. Guys, and look at these windows. Yeah. Glass is ceramic coated. Wheels are ceramic coated. Yeah, check out the glass, guys. He was able to do the wheels too, and it just looks unbelievable back of the car. I mean, look at that wing. So all glass, guys. All glass. Yep. Lamps. Sunroof. Look at Glitter, diffuser. Wow. We didn't do the interior, but tell us about the interior. Because I know you do yeah, so we well. also do ceramic, we ceramic coat interior. It's a special product by G Technic. So we, I use G Technic. And one there's of the a top three brands, guys. One of the top three brands used by professionals. Yes, I'm very. I'm a big fan of G Technic. I've probably been using it for I don't know, maybe five years, five six years. 
and I love it. I do use other products, but I use G-Technic probably for about 80, I'm sorry, 80, maybe 85% of the job that I do. Um, the, uh, you can do interior, so I have actually leather ceramic coating and all plastic, so you can, a lot of people are like, well, what do I want to do that? But it's, you spill soda, you spill coffee, it doesn't stick. So it makes, it makes the cleanup much easier. So that's another thing too. It's not just protecting the vehicle, but it makes the whole maintenance of the vehicle so much easier. When you wash a ceramic coated vehicle, when you feel a towel go over the paint, it's just weird because it's friggin' awesome. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's, weird. <laughs> it's just awesome. There's something different about taking a towel over a ceramic coated vehicle. Yeah. Well, so, I'm definitely excited to do that for sure. Yeah. I even want to like, because these dip down like this, I even ceramic coated under here. Um, because we appreciate that. So when you do the interiors, yeah. How does the colored interiors, the dyed interiors, how does that respond to the ceramic? It doesn't matter. There's, there's no, no change in the color. There's no. It doesn't. Move, it doesn't. Nothing happens. It just. And these have the products that you use have a UV in them yes. to help protect it from sun. So that would be smart. Absolutely. Because, yep. Sun so coming through the windshield, you're not going to get safe. It's day two thing. Red yeah. turns orange. Yep. Yeah, so white, we'll protect that. White turns yellow. So yeah. that's going to help keep your interior the color that it's supposed to be. Yeah, so Great, Tonya. We should have got it done. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have some things we have to do to it first. And that's true. Very true. It can always come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, it can yeah. come back, but... Color has a big thing to do when it comes to ceramic coating, like even exterior. So the two worst colors that, especially like you'll see in Florida, burgundy cars and dark blue cars peel. You'll see them fading. You'll see the roofs and the hood. Oxidation. Yeah, so that's from the sunlight. It's harsh on us. So, you know, a lot of people in, you know, in, in Florida, almost all of them, they get a nice car and it's burgundy or they always get a ceramic coating. Yeah. So, but color makes a difference. It's like those, that glass is like spotless. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, we have that looks great. Yeah, I want to put like carbon fiber pieces and everything inside the car. Wow. That car just looks amazing. So, Dwayne, if someone wants to bring a car to you, how do they get in contact with you? Um, well, you could uh, text me, call me, <laughs> call me at you know, my Airland C number. I'd have to tell you the number because it's on my card and I don't memorize it. But. <laughs> <laughs> You can contact me at 973-713-0553. We'll put it at the bottom of the video. Yeah, we'll yeah. put it in the video too for yep. you guys. AirlandCCeramics.com. But, uh, yeah. And, we'll get uh, you hooked up either here or in Texas. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you got a beautiful car over there. Yeah, I'm not Camaro, so I'm in here. I'm a Camaro guy. I'm a Chevy guy, so. But, yeah. Used to be a Corvette guy, but I'm all Camaro. You got some beautiful cars in here, though. For yeah, sure. There's always cool. Shop's clean, guys. Andy can get a pan of it. There's yeah, check out this really nice whole shop, guys. Here. Some beautiful rides in here. You got some Vipers over there, too, right? Yeah. This AC car here. You don't see too many of the ACRs. This is... Wow, look at this, guys. Yeah. How long ago did you do this one? Years ago, it hey was guys, torched. And three I, years ago, that was done. And look at it. Wow. Check out that paint, guys. Yeah, that's a rare car. They didn't make too many of those, right? It's, uh, no, it's, it's, that's, that's the beast, man. That's like, that is the king of the Vipers right there. Next to an older Viper. Yeah, that, that's the first year Viper, 1992. We've only got 5,000 miles on it. So it just kind of dies here. <laughs> kind of dies here? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So there's a car in here that's our arch enemy that's parked right next to Bagheera. And Andy can run over its paint real quick and then we'll show you some pictures that he sent us. He can send us more. Sure, absolutely. And he'll send us a couple of more because we just saw the fingernail marks on the, the door handle and I just thought, oh my god. Okay, it happens with Mustang, so it's all right. But, exactly. Um, <laughs> Did I say that loud? No. I welcome everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Then Andy will show you obviously right now what the paint looks like now yeah. and the, the difference between the two. I'll go walk around it right now. Check it out. And this hasn't, and you're right, Wayne, this has not been ceramic coated yet, right? 
Yeah, just paint correction on this Mustang, guys. Clayboard compounded and polished. Like, this was like the worst. Area. 2010. 2010, guys. Oh, that wasn't the worst area. No, it wasn't? No, no. Oh, just the, from the photographs the I saw. Was, the hood was oh, the worst. Well, I mean. Because that was the first area he did, so we took the first before and after pictures. I mean, look at this hood right now, guys. Yeah, the hood was absolutely. Oh, my awful. God. I'm telling you. Unbelievable. It's, it's something I wish everybody could have seen beforehand, but we have a ton of before pics of this. So this car is almost 14 years old. So it took 14, 14 years old. years worth of crap yeah. out of this car. Yeah, the, the oxidation. What we're trying to show you is the difference in what they can do for you with the ceramic coating. And also to just let you know that like it doesn't have to be a brand new car. Brand new cars are going to have stuff in them too, like Bagheera. Yep. Um, Look not at that near pink, as bad guys. as a 14 year old car but they're not just going to bring your car in and be like oh okay we're going to spray some ceramic on it and be done look what they did to this car this is not coated yet not even so coated yet and it looks beautiful be there are bad there are bad places out there that may charge you less beware if you get a really good price on it you don't know those people and they're not giving you a friends and family and that's why it's that low then they're probably not doing this. Yeah, yeah. a lot of times they do a spray. A lot of times they do a spray. You're not spray, getting spray corrected. Shh, spray You're ceramic. Just getting... I mean, look at that paint. Fourteen years old. And then, of course, I gotta look at this again because that's just. There's two different blacks. Clearly, tri coat paint. <laughs> no comparison. <laughs> Real black, tri coat black. Unbelievable. Yeah, baby. This is a daily driver? Yeah. Wow. It was a daily driver. It is no longer now. It, it looks really good. You did an unbelievable job. And I get, it hasn't even been ceramic yet, so. But, no, uh, we appreciate it, Wayne. Thanks oh, so much for doing it. No sweat. <laughs> Love this guy, guys. This guy. Love the people he's, are happy. He's got he's to gotta get a hold of your rides, especially, <laughs> especially your new Panthers. Yes, yes, for sure. Bring them on. <laughs> Alrighty guys, Andy's gonna get in and start up, start up Bagheera and pull her out. It feels like glass. Wait I'm till so you excited. see this in the sunlight, guys. The fluorescent lights don't do shit. Stop. Look at these Dark Knight aluminum door spears. Alright, okay. just start the car. Guys, look at that paint in the sunlight. Holy hell. Look at that paint and how clear my reflection is in it. So gorgeous. Yeah, right? <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got done with Wayne at Airland C Ceramics, paint correction, and got a gear ceramic coated. I mean, check out this freaking paint, guys. Like, check out this metal flake in the paint. This is insane. Insanity, guys, insanity. Look at this paint job. Tony is talking to Wayne about getting her Jeep done. Can you just, I don't know if, you, if you're going to even appreciate it. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at my reflection. It is crazy, guys. Look at that paint. Got the wheels ceramic. The glass is ceramic. Like, check it out. Unbelievable. 
but that's the right way to take care of a panther, guys. Oh yeah, nothing like a V8. Gotta have it. I mean, phew, unbelievable. Look at that in the sunlight. Wow. Just wow, guys. It is truly remarkable. And we can't thank Wayne enough for everything he did here at the shop and keeping our car for about a week. Uh, but the longer it stays, the more attention it gets, you know? <sighs> Nothing like a Camaro, guys. A T1 underneath the hood, on top of the hood with the logo, Panther Edition, Collector's Edition, one of the last ones, guys. Yeah, that's a Camaro.